Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, I will show how we can debug a test in a Node.js application. You can find the project right here in this GitHub repository. And this is a project that I have the course about, test-driven development in Node.js. And in this one, I modified a couple of things and we will see how we can debug those issues. For this one, I will be using JavaScript debugger terminal. And you can either open right here or hitting control shift P and type the JavaScript debug terminal. And we will run our test in this one. So in this project, we have the tests under this test directory. And to run the test, we have the script for like this one, npm test, we will do that. And let's, let's run them. We just type npm test here. So the tests are running by jest and it is running in watch mode. Now the debug terminal is opening the debug section right here. And in the terminal output, we see 81 tests are failing. And we will fix those. And we can just pick one of the failing tests and focus to this one to reduce the scope of the, the debugging part. And we can just filter the test by uh, the watch options of the jest. We have a couple of options here and we can just use either P or T option to filter the tests. And for this one, we have failures in the, let's go with the user update test and just let's run the user update test. I'm hitting P. And here we are in pattern mode and it is saying start typing to filter by file name and we will run the user update. So just typing user u and it's just showing the matching file hitting enter. And there are 36 tests in this one and 28 of them are failing. Eight tests are passing. So like if we go top and here we see the list of the failing tests. And the first one is this one returns 200. Okay. When valid update requests sent from authorized user. I will start with this one, but we could start with any of these actually. So opening the user update and let's find the test. Just copying the test description, searching in this file. And here we have the file. Now we can filter this test module to run only this test by adding F to it. So we are focusing to this test. So saving this one. Now only one test run, 35 of them skipped and that one is failed. And if we check the output, here we see this one is failing, others are skipped. Now let's debug this one. Let's see what is the problem here. The output is saying it is expecting 200. Okay, but it receives 403 forbidden. Now let's see what's going on. And we can debug this one step by step by using this debugger. So just adding a breakpoint to this line, the first line of this test and hitting enter in this terminal to make this test to run once again. Now the breakpoint is stopping the execution here. I'm just minimizing these to have more space for the variables so that we can check what the variables are. So code execution is stopped here. And in this function, we are calling this add user. This is a helper function right here. This is adding a user to database where this user model we have here. This is equalize user model and we pass a user object to it. Uh, basically, we are using this active user object and update its password with the bcrypt hashed version. So if we just step over that line, as a result, it's saving a user to database. And here, the value for that user, it has this ID, it has this password. This is the hashed version of the password. And then we are creating a update request. Then we call this put user. This is another helper function. 
and we pass a couple of parameters to this function. The first one is user ID. The second one is the body object. And the third one is an options object having this old part. And we have this user credentials. We step into this put user function. We are checking the old options. Then we request for authentication token from backend and we got this response by the way the debugging session is died because there is a timeout in this part so we are sending a request to the backend for token so just adding another breakpoint right here and trying once again so continue here and this is the after authentication part and then we are sending requests to this endpoint and that is being handled in the user router right here so this is the put endpoint we are sending put request to this url and that url is this one and the implementation is right here so this request is going to be sent to this handler let's continue now we are here in the user router and basically we check the authenticated user data and this user is empty and this is leading this error and as a result the test is failing because instead of 200 ok we received 403 forbidden so this part is failing and the problem is in a request we don't have the authenticated user and this is being added to the request right here in the token authentication middleware, this one. This middleware is set right here in app. We are using this one and this is used in every request. And in this one, we check the authorization header. And from the authorization header, we uh, take the substring, then query the existence of the token and based on that we get the user and add that user to the request object now the problem is like the token we are having is not uh, valid or it's not um, associated with a, a user so let's focus to this part let's focus to the this section we are sending authentication requests to this old endpoint and let's add another breakpoint to this authentication route right here. So adding uh, the breakpoint to this one. And let's hit enter. Now just continue. Now we are in this API 1.0 out handler right here. Let's uh, step over these lines. So the validation is passing the, the email is valid then we check the values like we have the email we have this password then we query the user from database we get the user but the timeout occurs here now let's add a breakpoint to this one and let's try once again continue now we are at this time we get the user from database and here we are comparing that user's password against the password we are sending in request body. And if we hover these, like the password we are sending is this one, but the user password is this one. So like this is hashed version in database, we have the hashed version of the password, uh, but we are doing the comparison just the clear text against the hashed version and this equality check is failing then this is ending up with the failure part so this is then failing so like adding user we are hashing the password and and we must be using the bcrypt again to uh, make sure the passwords are matching and we need to update this line this one uh, like this first we need to get the bcrypt 
this is the pre crypt and we are going to use wait pre crypt pre crypt has this compare function and we pass the password clear text and the encrypted one user password so this should be fixing the password control so then this is not going to be throwing this exception so let's save this one but before that let's remove all the breakpoints and let's see what's going to happen saving it now this test is passing so we were just focusing to this test this one and we fixed the issue now just removing the focus from this one to make sure uh, if the user update is working for the other test as well so all tests are passing here so we fixed the tests here in the user update now we can go back uh, and run all the tests we have a change on the authentication router and this can affect other tests as well so at the moment we were running the tests matching to this file name we can hit w to get the list of options and basically we can go with this a to run all tests and let's see what's going to happen now we still have failures but this failure is occurring only in one test suite so let's find that one and we have this account activation account activation test internationalization and if we just focus to this line here we see this is happening in this user register spec so like, like we can just do once again uh, hitting p for filtering the test by their file name user register and running the user register test and here we see 18 tests are failing in this one and let's close these and again let's find the first failing test so we have this one returns 200 okay when sign up request is valid so let's open user register and let's find that test this is the first test and this one is failing and let's just focus to this one once again saving it so this one is running only and it's failing and here we are receiving instead of 200 okay we are receiving 400 now let's add breakpoint and let's run the test once again by hitting enter so let's step over this line and as a response we are receiving this status 400 and as a body we are receiving this error it is saying this is validation error and it is failing because of this username it says must have minimum four characters and maximum 32 characters so this is the fail reason and if we check our post user function here we are not passing any uh, parameter to this one and by default uh, it has this valid user as the a user parameter and if you check that user that user it has this username user one which is five characters long so the the validation error says it must be between four and 32 uh, and it is five so it should be fine so let's focus to the user router for this one again and here we have the post handler we are sending post request to this endpoint and it is right here api10 users post and uh, this is the the route handler just adding a breakpoint to this one and uh, running the test once again i think continue now we are in user router so this is checking the validation and if we check the request but here we have this username user1 so like this validation result is coming from this library express validator and it is 
doing the validation and as a result it has this errors object saying this user1 is invalid uh, it has this username size message and the validation uh, logic for the express validator is added as a uh, middle layers here and here we have a username validator part it checks if username is not empty and it checks the length and then it throws this message username size and the error is right here the validation is uh, looking for minimum 14 and maximum 32 so like the problem is this line and instead of 4 it is 14 so just removing it and just continue the breakpoints and the tests are passing now now let's go back and remove the focus from this one and save it so we are running the test in the user register only so we have only one failure left and that one is right here it hashes the password in database let's find that test this one so just focusing to it, this one so adding a breakpoint hitting enter so this is posting user just stepping over this one and then we are querying the database we have this user list and in this user list we have this user object and this user object has these values and here we have the password as clear text and basically we check this password not to be this password we expect it to be hashed so it shouldn't be equal to the this one so this one is failing now let's add the breakpoint to the post handler once again right here just adding a breakpoint hitting enter so we are here continue now in user router this time the validation is okay we don't have any errors stepping over this one now we are going into this uh, user service for saving this uh, request body request body is having this user object stepping into this one so we have the user service and here uh, we don't have the encryption for the user password we just basically pass that password as it is to the uh, to the uh, user object then we use that user object in the save but before uh, setting the password for this object uh, we should be uh, updating the password with the hashed version so the problem is in this line uh, basically I'm just going to comment out this part and set the password as this hash value we are generating right here so let, let's save this one and continue continue here and the test is passing now we can remove the focus from this one and all tests are passing in the user register now we are going to run all tests once again hitting a and all tests are passing so that's it for this tutorial i just wanted to show how we can use the debugger to uh, debug the tests in a node application in this one we don't have any specific approach for the libraries we are using it is a common approach we can use in any uh, javascript application even in the sample we are using the gist as a test runner and uh, express as a backend application a similar approach could be used on totally different libraries in the javascript thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one